your name be glorified. I give you glory. I give you glory. the Lord. Welcome to UK World Evangelism Church. My name is Bishop Simon. I want to congratulate all of you who are out there praying, standing firm in your faith towards God. We are about to celebrate our Sunday service. I know many of us are connected, those in United Kingdom, London, England, some of you are watching us in Africa, some are watching us in Europe. Wherever you are, there is no distance in the realm of the Spirit. It is the plan and the purpose of God that we offer sacrifice of praise and worship day to Him. Because He is our God. There is no other God beside Him. I want to pray and then I want us to go through a worship song and then I will come and bring the Word of God. Heavenly Father, I pray for every member of UK World Evangelism Church, every family connected to this ministry, wherever they are. I lift them before your throne of grace. I pray for your divine protection right now, O oh Lord, over their lives. Father, we are not together in the house, but we are together in the spirit. Thank you, Father, for your strength, for your power, for your healing virtues over their lives, O oh Lord. Thank you for divine protection, Almighty God, and thank you for provision. I release the grace of God to surround your life right now, wherever you are, as you are watching, as you are listening. Let the grace of God be made available to you. Let the power of the Holy Ghost envelop you. Let the glory of God cover you, wherever you are, in the name of Jesus. I command anything that is standing against you to oppose you or obstruct you right now. I command it to bow in the name of Jesus. Let the glory of the Father be revealed to you wherever you are watching me from. In Jesus' mighty name. I cover your lives with the blood of Jesus. I cover your families, your mind, your spirit, soul, and body. I cover with the blood of Jesus. I release God's grace now over your life. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Let's have a worship song and then I will come back to you in the name of Jesus. Oh my God, everybody sing it. Yeah. Oh my God, yeah. oh nation shall praise your name. Oh nation. Hallelujah, amen. In the name 
Welcome back to UK World Evangelism Church. We thank God that we are moving forward wherever you are. God is with us. God never changes. He remains the same forever and forever. In Jesus' name, amen. The Lord wants me to encourage every one of you watching this program, wherever you are, that you should have faith in God. Have faith in God. 
I want to take a piece of scripture from uh, the book of Matthew. I'm reading from chapter 6 from verse 25. Matthew chapter 6 from verse 25. The Bible declares, Therefore I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air, for they neither sow nor reap nor gather into bands, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not more in value? Are you not more value than they? Which of you, by worrying, can add one cub cubit to his stature? So why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither fall nor spine, and yet, I say to you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Now, if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is, and today, tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? Therefore, do not worry, saying, what shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For after all these things the Gentiles seek, for your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. But seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow we worry about its own things. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Praise God Almighty. The scripture here is declaring unto us we should have faith in God. The scripture is declaring unto us we should have faith. In God we should not worry about food or drink we should not worry about clothing we should not worry about the body but we should think and consider the kingdom of God that we are in I love scripture because upon scripture the church is built God established the church on the commandments of his word he upholds all things according to his words. So wherever you are, I want you to begin to look into scriptures to find the promises of God for your life. God closed the grass of the field. If he closed the grass of the field, will he not clothe you more? Will, you, will he not feed you more? Have faith in God. So whatever the situation around you, whatever is happening around you, God wants you to have faith in his promises, in his word. Praise God. I know we are passing through challenges. I know we are going thing, through things that looks very fearful indeed. But God's words say we should have faith in God not in the situations we face, not on the wind that blows around us, not on the things that are happening around us, but we should have faith in God. Praise God. So wherever you are, you are hearing the sound of my voice. I always ask people, what is the promise of God for your life? What has God promised to you? One of the members of our church called me a few days back, and we are going through issues of life. And the Holy Ghost shouted through my mouth, We have a covenant with God. I have a covenant with God. You have a covenant with God. 
no matter whatever the situation is god cannot deny himself god cannot break his covenant his covenant they are established forever and forever he cannot break it what is this covenant we have covenant in the name of jesus god said that if we ask anything in his name jesus god will answer us it's a covenant promise we have covenant in the blood of Jesus that when the blood of Jesus covers our lives, no evil shall come near us. No evil shall come into our place of dwelling because the blood of Jesus becomes a hedge. When the blood of Jesus is sprinkled over our life, that blood speaks better things. It speaks healing. It speaks deliverance. It speaks protection. There is power in the blood of Jesus. These are covenant instruments of God. The blood of Jesus. The name of Jesus. What about the word of God? Your word I have hidden in my heart that I may not sin against you. The word of God. Your word is sweeter than honey even in my mouth the word of god so when you have the word of god that word is quick and sharper than the two edge of epiasis the word of god these are covenant instruments god is a covenant keeper he will never break his covenant even if we deny god god will not deny himself he keepeth his covenant for a thousand generations to those that love him and believe in him wherever you are I want you to keep that covenant that God has given to you. Love God with all your heart. Serve God with your heart, your mind, your thought, and your body. Run away from things that will hinder you in life. Sin is a hindrance. Sin is a yoke of the enemy. Sin is a gateway for the devil to invade one's life. Run away from those things the enemy can use to throw on you and bring you down run away from them because the covenant of god is forever sure he cannot break his covenant if god waters the grass in the field and make sure that they are nourished what much more about you have faith in god if you read the book of habakkuk and you read chapter 2 verse 4 even if you start reading from verse 1, you find out that Habakkuk was discussing with God about the situation that was taking place in the very day. Habakkuk was questioning God. I am praying for help, but I'm seeing violence. I am praying for justice, but justice is denied. I am praying for your intervention, but nothing is happening. It was in that discussion that God said to Habakkuk, the just shall live by his faith. The just shall live by his faith. Faith in what? Faith in the word of God. Faith in the promises of God. Faith in what God have promised he will do for those that believe in his name. So David began to write in the book of Psalms, he said, even if I pass through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. Hear me, child of God. God has not given you the spirit of fear. Reject fear. Fear is a torment. Fear is a weapon from the kingdom of darkness. Fear is an assignment of the wicked. Fear is from the pit of hell. Reject fear. That's why David put it there in writing. He said, even if I pass through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for the Lord is with me. If the Lord is with you, that's it. The Bible says, if the Lord be for us, who can be against us? If the Lord be for us, who can be against us? The promise of the word of God keep repeating. He said, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Every tongue that rises up against you in judgment is condemned. Right now, I condemn every voice that is speaking against you. Every voice of sickness. Every voice of fear. Every voice of torment. Every voice of death. Every voice of infirmity. Every voice from the pit of hell speaking against you. I condemn it now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 
Whatever the enemy is bringing to cause fear in your life, I condemn it, I cancel it, I destroy it in the name of Jesus. The devil say you are going to die. I destroy the yoke of death. I destroy the power of death. I destroy the yoke of sickness. I destroy the yoke of infirmity. I destroy the yoke of pestilence. Every voice speaking against you, I cancel it, I condemn it, I destroy it, and I lose you, and I disconnect you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Child of God, have faith in God. Do you hear me again? Have faith in God. Did you hear me again? Have faith in God. God cannot fail. God cannot disappoint you. Those that put their trust in the Lord, they are like Mount Zion that cannot be moved. We are moving forward. We cannot be stopped. The church of Jesus Christ on the planet Earth cannot be stopped. The church will march forward until the time is fulfilled hear me child of god until the time is fulfilled god knows the end right from the beginning he knows the time and the seasons we are passing through it somebody share with me say we are passing through it it's not yet the end it's not yet time god still have a plan for planet earth god still have a plan for you god still have a plan for your children it's not yet over this is a warning shot to remind us, to quicken us, to help us to put our houses in order, to help us remove things that are weighed unto us, to help us remove selfishness, greediness, covetousness, to help us remove adulterous sins, fornication, to help us remove worldliness, and to help us to begin to look up and begin to desire God more than ever. That's why King David said, By the Spirit of God, I will look unto the hills. From whence cometh my help? My help cometh from the Lord. Where are you looking? If you are looking on the things of this world, they will fail you. If you are looking on human flesh, they will fail you. If you are looking on food and drink, they will fail you. Those that put their trust in the Lord, they will be like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved. You and I, we are moving forward. You and I, we are marching forward. You and I, the Lord is our shield and our defense. You and I, we are covenant people. We keep covenant with God and God keep covenant with us. There are times I've been very weak I cannot pray. There are times I have been very weak. I can't study the word of God. But when I open my mouth, I say, Lord, remember your covenant. Remember your covenant with us. Remember your promises to us. As I'm speaking, I will hear the sound of the voice of God saying to me, let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. Let the sick say, I am healed. God began to remind me quickly. Of his promises through his word. I say unto you. Have faith in God. Have faith in God. And for you to have faith in God. You need to remind yourself. What are the things that have happened in scripture. I remember the promise that Jesus said to his apostles. Cross over to the other side. And Jesus went to pray up in the mountain. At midnight, Jesus came down. But the apostles were in the middle of the sea, tossed about by the wind. They believed that we are going to die. They believed that there was no help. But suddenly, Jesus began to walk upon the waters to come to them. And when Jesus approached closer to them, they saw him coming. They said, surely this is a ghost. This is a spirit. Jesus said, it is I, fear not. I want to let you in. fear not. Jesus is on your side. Jesus is on, on your way. Jesus is on your own case. Jesus is working for you. Jesus is hearing your voice. Jesus knows your needs. He knows your desires. 
as Jesus was walking, they were afraid. They said, this is a spirit. Jesus, it is I that is coming. It's me. Fear not. And Peter said, Lord, if that is you, bid me to come to you. Then Jesus said to Peter, come. Peter came out of the boat while others were hugging the boat, holding the boat because they were afraid they were going to drown. Jesus said to Peter, come. And Peter staggered out of the boat and walked towards Jesus. This is that time. This is that season. When you read that story, you thought that it was only the apostles that would pass through the winds of life and the storms of life. Now we are in the wind and the storms of life. Now we are passing through a challenging period in human history. Now we are experiencing things that we don't even know how it started or how it's going to end. But we are caught up in it. So we are the apostles in the boat crossing. The, we are crossing over. I want you to shout with me. Say, I am crossing over this wind. Say, I am crossing over this sea. I am going to the other side. You will come out the other side healed. You will come out the other side protected. You will come out the other side provided for. You will come out the other side lifted up. You will come out the other side strengthened in your faith. You will come out the other side with a new mind, with a new understanding. Because Jesus is on your case. Jesus is watching over you. Jesus is looking after you. Jesus promised you, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. I will be with you always till the end of time. It's not yet the end, but the end is coming. This is what the prophets of God spoke in the scripture that this is the beginning of sorrows. This is the beginning of what? Sorrows. We have never seen it like this before. But it's just a beginning of things to come. Therefore, you need now to keep looking onto the hills from whence cometh your help. For your help cometh from the Lord. Your help, my help, our help comes from the Lord. The Lord is our shield and our defense. The Lord is our protector. The Lord is our provider. The Lord is our healer. The Lord is our strength. The Lord is our shield. He will defend you and protect you from the wise of the wicked. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I stand with you and I say to you, have faith in God. What did I say? Have faith in God. Not in my natural ability, not in my skills, but in the God who began the beginning. Hallelujah. That's why God spoke to Joshua. In the book of Joshua chapter 1 verse 8, he said, this book of the law, shall not depart out of thy mouth. You shall meditate upon it day and night and observe to do according to what is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous and you will have good success. I want to encourage you. Don't miss the opportunity God has allowed. Give time to read the word of God. Give time to meditate on the word of God. Give time to study the word of God. Let your spirit man be renewed. Let your spirit man be revived. Let your mind be cleansed from worldliness. Let your life be made steadfast in the will and the plan and the purpose of God. Don't move out of the place of your calling. Don't move out of the place where God has assigned to you. Don't move out of the responsibilities God has placed in your life. Don't change your mind. Stay firm. The storms of life will surely come. But those that put their trust in the Lord, those that put their confidence in the Lord, all these things will surely come to pass. This is the beginning of the shakings. They will come 
But it does not change who God is. It does not change the promise God has made. It does not change the written word of God. The God we serve, he is a covenant keeping God. He has made a promise which you need to hold very strong. He said, I will not leave you. I will not forsake you. I will be with you always. Jesus cannot lie. God the Father cannot lie. The Holy Ghost cannot lie. The word of God cannot return back to God void. Has God promised? God is faithful. Don't you lose focus. Have faith in God. This is one of those things that are written. They will come to pass. The shakings are coming. Even more are going to come. But those that put their trust in the Lord. We read scriptures. We read the stories of those that have served God before this time. We read the story of Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. They said, hear it, O king. Even if the God we serve does not deliver us, we will not bow down to worship an idol. Right now, many of us are in the place where the enemy is throwing all manner of story and information. Some of us even haven't got time to read the word of God, but we are reading what is happening. Don't lose sight of the word of God. Yes, what is happening will happen. What we are passing through, we will pass through. But the word of God is settled forever and cannot what? Change. I hear that word of God saying, God is beautiful for all situations. Hear me, child of God. Your faith in God is beautiful for all situations. The promise of the word of God is beautiful for all situations. Whatever you are passing through, God is beautiful for all situations. They looked at him. They looked at God. They looked at Jesus. They looked at the word of God. They looked at the promises of God. And their countenance changed. They, they become radiant. Look on Jesus. Look on his word. Look on the promises of God. I say to you, have faith in God. For God cannot change. He cannot deny himself. His word cannot change. Has he promised of healing? Healing is a bread for the children. Has God promised deliverance? He will deliver you from the arrow that flies by night and the one that flies by noonday. You will see it. You will hear about it. But it shall not come near thee. God cannot lie. It shall not come near thee. God promises. This is the time to look on the word of God and meditate on the word of God and Remind yourself of the promise of the word of God and stand firm, immovable. Praise God. Having spoken to you the word of God, we do not deny the situations that is surrounding humanity now. We don't deny it. It's there. But God is not moved. He knew that these things will come. He knew that we'll pass through these things. But he has given us the promise in his word. God knew that these things will happen. It did not happen by accident. God knew we pass through these things. He has already provided for us in the middle of these things that if we look at him, he will protect our lives. He will heal us from sickness and disease. He will deliver us from pestilences. He will rescue us from the yoke of death, the spirit of death that is running to and fro. God has promised. Therefore, I want you to put your faith in God. Put your faith in God. Hallelujah. Food or no food, drink or no drink, put your faith in God. Whether human beings come to help you or they didn't come, put your faith in God. Call upon the name of the Lord. Trust the Lord. Depend on the Lord. And don't allow anything to cause fear to enter your heart. Kapuria masandala bashakatarabaya. Every one of you watching me right now, wherever you are, in your houses, you are watching me right now. I release the power of God to you. I release the anointing to you. I command grace to come to you. I destroy the yoke of sickness and infirmity. I destroy the power of darkness over your life and family. I lose and demand your freedom from every attack of the enemy. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 
Let the glory of God cover you. Let the power of God cover you. Let the anointing of the Holy Ghost come into your house. Come into your family. I destroy every assignment of argument. Every argument the enemy is trying to raise up to cause you to lose faith. I break that power. I destroy that yoke in the name of Jesus Christ. Every assignment of the enemy, every plan of the enemy to derail you and to move you out of the plan of God, I set it on fire. I destroy it. I cancel it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I release God's healing power to touch you. I release God's anointing to flood through your mind, to renew your mind, to st strengthen you even right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Salamandish. Wherever you are, the anointing is coming like liquid fire. Lift your hands and begin to praise God. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. We are together in the spirit. Open your mouth now. Begin to give God praise. Lord, we praise you. We worship you. We honor you. We glorify your name. We praise you for who you are. We honor you for who you are. We praise you for who you are. Let your glory be made manifest in the life of your people. Let your glory cover the hearts and the minds of your people. Father, reveal yourself. You are our God and our Father. You know what is happening. You know where we are. You know the things that are confronting us. Lord, manifest your glory and your power. Even through the words of my mouth, I release God's healing power over you. I release the glory of God over you. I release the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Receive Receive in the name of Jesus. Receive in the name of Jesus. Receive in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Ribo shante kebo diyamaha, ribo sele mende kebo saha, shante kebo shika tarababa baha, sandele bo shaka tarabo diyamasanda ha, si alaka tere bo deke sheke tere bo deke tere be deke te, rusa kata la bo sheke te dia la badaka ta, rosa la manda gabara badaka ta 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 ta, lusa keta kaka kaka kaka, lusa la mande ke tere be shika ta, lusa ke raba sandele bo bo shala baaya. In the name of Jesus, I release God's peace over your heart. I release God's peace over your mind. Every yoke of disagreement in your life, in your marriage, I break it, I destroy it. In the name of Jesus, every disagreement in the family, I break it, I destroy it. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I declare you will come through this situation. You will pass through it as Jesus made the the apostles in the middle of the sea and he came into their boat. Jesus is walking into your boat. He's walking into your family. He's walking into your marriage, into the life of your children. All of you, you are going to come ashore. You are going to cross this wind. You are going to cross this storm. You will reach to your place in God. In Jesus' mighty name, the place God has planned and prepared for you, you will enter and reach there and nothing shall by any means stop you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Have faith in God. What did I say? Have faith in God. There is no one that has put his trust in the Lord and get disappointed. God will not allow you to be disappointed. God will not allow me to be disappointed. He will see you through. I say, God will see you through. He will protect you. God will provide for you. God will make a way for you. God is faithful. If everything on this planet earth fails, the promises of God, they will never fail. God knows those who are his, and God will make a way for you. He will preserve you. He will protect you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Among all of you that are watching me right now, if the enemy has attacked your body, touch your body right now, I want to pray for you. If the enemy have touched you in any way, 
and you say, God, touch me. Right now, touch your body. Heavenly Father, I agree with as many that are releasing their faith now to receive healing in their body. I release your power right now to touch them. I release the anointing of the Holy Ghost to envelop them. Let the yoke of sickness and infirmity over your life now be broken. Let it be destroyed. I lose you. I disconnect you now in the name of Jesus. I declare you now set free, set free, healed in Jesus' mighty name. Let the glory of God cover you in Jesus' mighty name. As I'm praying for you right now, lift your hand and worship God. Give God a wave offering. Give God a clap offering. Whatever you can do, do it. Exercise your faith. Release your faith. Show that you are part of what I'm saying from the word of God. In the name of Jesus, I pray that God will give each one of you the wisdom of this time. Because every season of life there is wisdom, how to pass through it. May God give you the wisdom of this time. May you discover the hidden wisdom of God as we pass through this wind and this storm that is raging. May God bring you through and bring your family through and bring your children through in the name of Jesus Christ. And I decree and I declare that nothing shall fail in your hands in the name of Jesus. Let the balm of Gilead cover your lives, your body, your mind, your souls. The balm of Gilead, the healing power of God, the protective power of God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen and amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. I'm excited. I feel the power of God. I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I feel the power of God. I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost coming through now. Kaporia Masia Labra, Scolomondo Celebra, Daka Scolomondo Celebra Gadaya, Jule Mende, Caramondo Celebra Gadabaya. Lord, thank you for your grace. Thank you for your healing power. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Thank you, Jehovah God. Thank you for your people. Thank you for the grace you have given them. Thank you for making a way for them. Father, we remind ourselves that we love you. Father, we love you. We will follow you. We will serve you. We will honor you from generation to generation. As long as we live, our life will serve you. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. I cover my mind, spirit, soul, and body with the blood of Jesus. I cover my wife and children with the blood of Jesus. I cover every member of UK World Evangelism Church with the blood of Jesus. I cover your families, your marriages with the blood of Jesus. I cover your children, your finances with the blood of Jesus. And everyone that is watching me wherever you are, I am praying for you. I cover your life with the blood of Jesus. I demand your freedom. I demand God's healing power over you. I release God's grace over you. I release the power of God over you. Thank you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen and Amen. Wherever you are, remind yourself, what is my part? How do I move? How do I walk? I want you to follow the guidelines the government is giving us. I want you to observe those guidelines because they are very helpful. It is for your good. So observe the guidelines that the, the, the government is giving. Observe them, keep them, honor them in the name of Jesus Christ. And it shall be well with us. The next thing I want to remind you is that remember that we need to maintain our altar and keep it. So there are responsibilities God has placed on your life. Honor them. Give God your offerings and your tithes. It will help keep your altar so that you have an altar. As long as you have an altar, there's a place where the name of the Lord will be called and it will mitigate for your benefit. Praise God. Praise God. I want us to break bread before we finish this program. Wherever you are, you remember that we break bread. We break bread. So let us break bread. It's part of the covenant of God that we keep. Praise God Almighty. Praise God Almighty. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. For I received from the Lord that which I also gave unto you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was crucified, he took the bread. 
and he gave thanks. He blessed it and he gave it to his disciples and said, Take this bread and eat it, all of you. This is my body, that which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And when supper was ended, he took the cup and gave thanks. He gave it to his disciples and said, Take this cup and drink it, all of you. This is the cup of my blood in the new covenant, that which is shed for you and for many. For as often as you do this, you do it in remembrance of me. The bread which we break is the communion of the body of Christ, and the cup we drink is the communion of the blood of Christ. For though we are many, we are one body and one blood. Precious Father, we thank you for as many of us that are jointed to you by covenant through the power of the blood of Jesus and the body of Jesus. We receive this grace which thou have bestowed upon us and we declare it as an instrument of grace. Thank you for giving it to us as a communion. Thank you, precious Father. Jesus, we love you. We love your death. We love your resurrection. We love what you did for us. You took our place and paid the price and now we are the people of God because of what you have done. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We give glory and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's eat together wherever you are. Let's drink. Wherever you are, I bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the light of God shine upon you. Let God lift his countenance over you. Let the God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, the God of Israel, the God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, let the power of his name be made manifest in your life and family. Let him preserve you and protect you as we pass through this wind. Let God make a way for you. I declare your life blessed, your family blessed. I declare it is well with you. In Jesus' mighty name. May God bless you and keep you. I will come back to you again by Tuesday, 7 o'clock in the evening, and we have fellowship again. Speak into your life and pray with you. And any one of you that want to reach me by telephone, call our line, call my number. I'll be able to speak to you and be an encouragement to you. May God bless you. I look forward to seeing you again. In Jesus' mighty name, I prayed. Amen. Welcome to the Bishop Simon Ihia Nacho app, a new modern way to quickly connect with Bishop Simon's ministry. From access to extended messages and ministry products to streaming worship service, you can do all of these and more with the new Bishop Simon Ihia Nacho app. You can listen to Bishop Simon's messages on radio 24 7, listen to latest or previous sermons, follow us on social media without leaving the app. With this free app, you get exclusive access to events, updates, and message series from Bishop Simon Ihia Nacho. The mobile app is the bridge that connects you with the ministry's activities at any time, anywhere. You can watch 24-hour online TV and on-demand videos. Get straight to our website at just a click and send in your prayer requests. Take a step further in your journey with Christ. Download the Bishop Simon Ihia Nacho's app today. Available on the Google Play and App Stores. Download it now. So I would keep on following you, my best friend. You are really my best friend. Hey, you are really my best friend. You have never offended me. Lord. I will keep on following you.
search and found no friend like you, Jesus. No one, no one. Friends can fail me, but you are still faithful. That's why I see you are my best. Friends of this world can let me down. They can promise me and fail. But since I met you, my friend, you've been faithful. Faithful in your promises. Oh, Jesus, my best friend. And I will follow Jesus, I got me so 